while we've talked a lot about how robot vacuums navigate a room, we haven't talked a lot about how to create custom cleaning spaces for your robot vacuum. I'm Megan Mullerton for CNET, and this is a how-to. So I'm here with the Neato BotVac 85, the iRobot Roomba 880, and the LG HomeBot Square. And each of these robot vacuum brands have different names for the same thing. Neato uses these magnetic strips they call boundary markers. This is probably the most simple and straightforward method. So basically you just put it down and it won't pass that threshold. When it comes in contact with that magnetic barrier, it'll turn around and go back the other way. So the advantage of the boundary marker is that it's really simple. There's no batteries, no setup. You just plop it down and it does its thing. The disadvantage is that it's kind of an eyesore. iRobot uses these virtual walls. It's a bit more advanced than Neato's boundary marker. It requires two C batteries, but it works pretty much the same way. Set the distance and it works as an invisible wall that the robot vacuum won't cross. I like that you can set the distance on this, but I don't like that it requires two C batteries. LG's solution is a bit more quirky. It doesn't have a physical boundary marker or a virtual wall barrier, but it does have a feature called MySpaces on the remote control. The way that MySpace works is you can drive the robot vacuum around using these arrow keys and create a perimeter of your own within any room. The advantage is that you can use this via remote and you don't have any extra accessory. The disadvantage is that it's kind of a novelty. It might wear off pretty quickly. So while these technologies are all different, each one offers a solution for sectioning off your house. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Mullerton for CNET.com.